Hi, this is Bill Hitchcock, and we're just going to be doing some more Raptor programming. In this clip, we're going to set up a GPA calculator, a grade point average calculator. So you can see I've got a new file set up here, so I'm going to click and save this right away, otherwise it's just going to prompt me in a minute. So I'll click File, Save As. I want to call this my GPA Raptor file. And for computing out GPA, what basically what we want to do with this is we're going to so assume that somebody knows what their current GPA is, how many credits they've taken, that sort of thing. And then we want to say, all right, um, how many credits do you hope to take? And then what grade do you think that you could get on those? And then therefore compute out an overall GPA. So I'm going to start out with an input. statement and we'll ask how many credits do you have and we'll call that our current credits then we'll ask them what their current GPA is so I'll put another input statement here. What is your current GPA in these? And we'll put a quote plus, and I want to display out how many credits they have. Cur cred credits. And we'll have that as a variable called cur GPA. All right, so let's save this. Test it out, give it a try. So we run it. How many credits do I currently have? I've got 15 credits. What's my current GPA? I have a 3.0, so I'll type in a 3, and that worked. I've got uh, two variables here, cur cred, cur GPA, 15 and 3. So now what I want to do is I want to compute out how many honor points that is. Honor points is just the credits times your GPA. So I'll put an assignment in and say that the current H points or honor points is equal to the current credits times or an asterisk times the current GPA save it. We can try to run it, make sure that this works. I've got 15 credits. What do I have in these 15 credits? I've got a 3.0. So therefore my honor points does compute out to be 15 times 3 or 45, so that looks good. So let's tell the user that's what they have. Based on your current situation you've earned cur H points honor points and notice that I put in a text string with quotes joined it with a variable joined that with another text string so there's pluses or in other words join operators between anytime you have a literal and a variable. Save. I always like to just kind of, you know what, I, it, it doesn't cost much other than just some time. Just run it again. Make sure all of this is working. Based on our current situation, I've earned 45 honor points. So that looks good. All right, now we want to ask them a couple more questions. We want to ask them how many credits they, they plan on taking and then what grade they hope to get in those credits. So we'll have another input. How many credits do you plan to take? And how about if we call them plan cred? And we'll have another input statement and say what GPA do you hope 
to earn in these and then we'll display out how many credits they're planning on taking. Plan, cred, credits. So again it's literal, variable, literal. And we'll call that our plan GPA. Now that I've got those two numbers I want to compute out how many honor points that equates to. So I'll put an assignment statement here. Our plan H points, planned honor points, is going to equal the plan cred times the plan GPA. And we'll put an output. Display the results of that. If you complete your plan cred credits and earn a and then I'm going to join that with the plan GPA GPA in those credits you'll earn another and then we want to say how many honor points that they're going to earn. Plan H points plus honor points. And I realize maybe that's getting a little bit wordy but still it helps the user to know exactly what these numbers are and it helps us when we're testing this out to see how that works. So I've got all this typed in. I'm going to save this. Run it. I've got 15 credits. I've got a 3.0 so far. So I've got my 45 honor points. How many credits do I plan to take? I hope to take another 16 credits. And I hope to get a 3.5. Eh, let's make the math easier. Let's say I, I hope to get straight A's in those 16 credits. So 16 times 4 is 64. And let's try this out. If you complete your 16 credits and earn a 4 GPA in those credits, you'll earn another 64 honor points. So good, all that's working. So now what I want to do is I want to calculate out how many total credits I'll have, how many total honor points I'll have, and then I, if I divide the two, I'll find out what my overall GPA will be. So we'll do an assignment. I'm done with all the inputs. So my assignment is going to be total cred is going to be my current cred plus the plan cred. And if you want to print that out right away, go ahead. Do an output. And we could say current credits Per cred plus planned credits, and I'll say plus planned cred plus equals. total cred total credits save that let's speed this up so it doesn't take us quite so long we'll put that about in the middle there let's run this how many credits do you have I've got 15 I've got a 3.0 I'm taking 16 credits I hope to get a 4.0 and it tells me how many honor points I'm going to have. I've got my current credits 15 plus plan credits 16 equals 31 total credits. That looks good. I know how many, um, I don't know my total honor points yet, so I better add that up.
So my total H points is going to be my cur H points plus the plan H points. And notice that as I'm doing this with my variables, it, it, it helps a lot if you just kind of use a standard naming scheme. Um, you know, that way you don't have to try to, you know, remember what all, if, if you spelled one honor with the whole word spelled out or whatever, just be consistent. So we've got that. Um, I'm going to do one more output and we'll make it kind of like this current credits and, and do all that. In fact, you know what I might try is I'm going to try clicking on this one. Hit Control-C to copy it. Control, um, try clicking down here and try Control-V so I can copy and paste something. Now I just want to modify this. So it's not current credits anymore. This is going to be my current honor points which is the current H points variable plus planned H honor points which is the plan H points variable equals total H points or the total honor points. So just trying to save myself a little bit of typing. Save, run, let's check and see how things are going. Current credits 15. 3.0. I plan to take 16 credits. I have a 4.0 and we'll let it turn away. So here we go. Let's see if I complete my 16 credits I get another 64. 15 plus 16 is 31. 45 plus 64 equals 109 total honor points. We're about one step away, so now I gotta figure out what my overall GPA is going to be. So my overall GPA will be the total H points divided by total credits total cred. And for my final output we'll just say your overall GPA will be and we join that with the variable overall GPA. Save, run, test it out. 15, 3, 16, 4. Now it should be slightly above a 3.5 because if it was, if I had a 3 and I got a 4 and I had exactly 15 credits for each of them, it'd be the average of those two GPAs. But in this case, I've actually got one extra credit of A's, so it should be a little bit higher than a 3.5. And sure enough, it's a 3.5161 for my overall GPA. So, you know, without a whole lot of work, we're able to come up with a fairly useful program. We can do some different testing to see how things would work. Um, you know, say that I was a, a junior going into my senior year. I want to run this program and say I've got 90 credits and I've got a 2. 6.5 GPA. I plan to take another 30 credits and I want to see if I got like a 3. Point, if I got a 3.0 all right you know so far I've always gotten C plus average you know somewhere in that that range a, a 2.6 something what if I got all B's my senior year hit enter, we compute this out, and it looks like I can boost my grade point average up to a 2.73. So we can kind of find out what's the best possible. So if we run this, and I've got 90 credits, and right now I've got a 
what did I say, a 2.65 I think it was. And I plan to take 30 more credits. The best possible solution would be if, if I got all A's in those classes. Without retaking anything, I could get up just about to a 3.0. So, you know, that might be one of those, if, if I was a student, I might consider doing one of two things. One is if I really thought I could get a, a 4.0 in my last 30 credits, I'd probably retake some course, whatever my worst grade was in a course that I had. You know, maybe I maybe I had an F someplace, maybe I had a D minus. I might retake that one. Or the other thing is we could actually take a few more credits instead of just doing exactly 30 credits. I could take a few more and see if that would push be enough to push me over a 3.0 and find out that that's a possibility. So I hope this gives you some ideas about how you can do some more programming. Um, this one shouldn't be too bad to set up. Again, it's all just sequential. It's just one question after the other. You know, we could do some things. We could we could put in some tests. For example, if they don't have any credits right now, we really don't need to ask them what their grade point average is. So we could do a, a, a selection here and say if cred equals zero. If that's not true, then I'm going to ask them what their current GPA is. But if it is true, I'm just going to make an assignment and set, if I can get into this, cur GPA equal to zero. And likewise, we could also take this honor points, move that up into here. And again, if they don't have any credits, they don't have any current GPA, we could say that your honor points is going to be just equal to zero. So we don't even have to do the math to do it. Before, when I had this, it would have given me zero times zero, and I would have gotten zero. That would have been fine. But we'll just make an assignment and just say cur h points to zero. And we'll save this, and let's test that out twice. How many credits do I currently have? Zero. And based on our current situation, I've earned zero honor points. How many credits do you plan to take? 16. I hope to get a 3.2 in those. And it calculates all this out, and my overall GPA is going to be a 3.2 because I don't have any credits. Run it one more time, make sure it still works with the other way. So we've got 90 credits. I've got a 3.2 in it. I plan to take 30 credits. I want to know what would happen if I just got C's in all those classes. And I could still graduate with a 2.9 if I did something like that. So, you know, there's some other things that you can always add into your spreadsheet, or I'm sorry, your, your program, just to, you know, demonstrate, hey, I understand how to do some selections and, and put this together and come up with a, a decent program.